Hello, I'm CQ97. Today I'm showing you how to uh, live stream onto Twitch TV or Justin TV using your a program called Wirecast, which is another broad live stream broadcaster software, which is really good, like much better than XSplit, but a bit more pricey than that. So let's get started. So the things you need is first a uh, Justin TV account because it will still get you to a Twitch, so if you got your category set to gaming, it will still have a Twitch TV account. But we need to sign up on Justin TV because the things we need to get this to work is on the Justin TV as opposed to Twitch TV. But they're still part of the same thing, and if you create an account on one, you'll, you'll create an account on the other one automatically. Um, so the first thing you need is that, and the second thing you need is obviously Wirecast, so that can be ex um, you can get that from telestream.net, and then go to products up here and select Wirecast at the bottom. Um, it costs, I think, it's about for the cheapest version, it's about 400 quid, so that's quite a lot. 400 pounds, that is. So that's quite a lot of money, but you can always get a free trial. And I'm not sure if this is legal or anything, but if when it runs out, you could just re-download it. I'm not sure. Uh, or you could just buy it, like a uh, normal person. Um, and that's basically, and then install it and stuff, and it's like really good. It looks amazing on Mac, it looks alright on Windows, and it's got so many different things on it. Uh, and I think it was mainly designed for TV broadcasts and stuff, that's why it's so expensive. But yeah, so once you've all got that, we can officially get started now. So the first thing we're going to do is go to set up Wirecast. So first thing you just go to File, Aspect Ratio and select 480p. And I'm going to go into Mass Layer 1, which can be seen by going to Layer, layer Panel. Select Mass Layer 1, delete what's ever existing and then go to this page thing and go Add Picture Shop. And we're going to add a watermark. And then click that and it will be attached. And then we go to Mass Layer 2, delete whatever exists in there. And then we want to add a screenshot, I want to add the whole screen. So, what we need to do is click this TV. And first, we need to launch a thing called Launch Desktop Presenter. Um, that loads it. And I'm going to do Main Display, Full Screen. And now I want to add that shot by going to Add New Des Desktop Presenter Shot. Click that to add it to the actual composition. And as you see, this is what we see in our Wirecast. But this is what we see on the actual live stream so that's uh so I'll leave that open just minimize it so that's our wirecast set up now to actually set this up with twitch it's not the same as xsplit where you can just select the thing you have to get like loads of settings stuff so what we need to do is go to internet explorer and we don't go to twitch even though you're using twitch we need to still go to justin tv and now we need to go to click go live and wait for that to load and it should load something called Justin TV slash broadcast. And then here you want to click more streaming options. And then down here it says Flash Media Encoder. We want to click config file. Now this is a config file that you use with Flash Media Encoder. But the way we connect to a stream through this is the same as we connect to it through um, Wirecast. So once that's downloaded, we can we have this like text document with loads of information in. But we are going to use this now in the next step by connecting it to the Wirecast. So to connect that uh, Wirecast to the live stream, we need to have this downloaded, and now we need to go to Wirecast and go to broadcast, broadcast settings, and then here we need to put plus, so add uh, or accent to, and then click that one, and we want to put the f this encoder preset is flash high bandwidth 16.9. Uh, destination RTMP flash server and then here we need to go and find what says open XML file click that and then on our desktop where we downloaded find that document so that one you got from Justin TV and you should see it change like this so it's got all this code click save and that's our live stream uh, as Wirecast sorry it's connected to our live stream server so to actually connect to our stream so for, I'm going to do it for Twitch we're going to have to go into our broadcast, our Spycast broadcaster, and once it's all set up, click broadcast. And if you see this little red box, little, like red arrows here, it's saying that it's actually been broadcasting. And if we go into Twitch now, we can see it's live. So this is what we're exactly seeing on our screen. So we know our stream works now and it's connected to Twitch correctly. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, the next one, which is to do with. Uh, doing this with Google Plus Hangout won't come for a few weeks now because uh, basically the next Wirecast update has this thing called virtual camera so like a virtual webcam and that's what we need to work with web with sorry with Google Plus Hangout 
much but because as it comes this this current version I can't show you yet I have to wait till the next version but if you did like this video please like it if you've got any more questions comment section below is the question area yeah and please subscribe to my channel as that really supports me a lot and yeah thanks for watching